Well, thanks for having me. I'm uh, Stefano Testa. I'm uh, from Cisco. I'm responsible for the SD1 and SASE uh, business uh, and the team of specialists responsible for driving the technology and helping our customers adopt uh, SD1 and SASE technologies. I'm here at the SD1 and SASE Summit in Paris. Uh, so thanks for having us. It's a, it's a great opportunity. It's actually the third or fourth year in a row that, that we've been here. Always good to, uh, to look at what the market uh, is doing and to bring our own expertise and share it with customers and partners. I have to say this year, probably even more uh, service providers and partners uh, looking not only at the SD1 element, which was the original intent of this conference, but uh, very much into, um, uh, uh, into the SASE. And I would say not just SASE, as I know it's been a big buzzword over the last few years, but really at the technologies around ZTNA. If there's one thing we're talking about a lot with customers and partners is, is how do we take, how do we really implement ZTNA, which kind of functionality you bring to the table, but then quickly the technology discussion has to evolve and go to more of an organization, business processes and business outcome discussions. So those have been the most fruitful conversations we had. And then of course, the other big topic has been AI, artificial intelligence. Um, from different angles, uh, we've also been sharing a number of initiatives and functionalities and development that we put into our solutions. Uh, but then it's also how do people use uh, artificial intelligence to each extent? What are the warnings? Uh, how to use it in the right way? What are its limitations? So a lot of those conversations are leading to some uh, very good next steps. So uh, there's probably a couple of the things, ZTNA and uh, AI on top of uh, the traditional SD1 and SASE conversations that we typically have in these conversations.